Hello everyone, this is Freya and welcome to a new episode of A Discovery of Nordic Witchcraft. In this episode we are going to talk about spiritual bypassing. Spirituality is about realizing what we are and what we are not. The term spiritual bypassing was introduced in the early 1980s by John Wellwood, a Buddhist teacher and psychotherapist, referring to a tendency to use spiritual ideas and practices to sidestep or avoid facing unresolved emotional issues, psychological wounds and unfinished developmental tasks. Spiritual bypassing is a very persistent shadow of spirituality, where we use spiritual and esoteric concepts to bypass basic psychological work, overestimating ourselves and essentially lying to ourselves about our state of being, intellectualizing things and not embodying them. I see a lot of people caught in a spiritual bypassing. Their boundaries are immensely poor. They cannot say no. They are overly attached to being nice and sweet and to look positive. They are addicted to being positive. Spiritual bypassing is rejecting the simplicity of just being and the emptiness supporting that simplicity. Any spiritual practice can be used as a way to bypass. If you only use a meditation to escape reality and not deal with emotions, that is one example of a spiritual bypassing. Anytime you feel that whatever you are doing or practicing is done with the underlying intention to escape or hide something else that is considered spiritual bypassing. Awakening is becoming aware and not just about the positives in life, but also the negative, more darker things we would rather not face. So be one of those brave ones that embrace the shadow. Escapism has never fixed anything and tucking away your shadow simply means turning away from the parts of yourself, crying out for healing or crying out for appreciation. But if you bypass the negativity, you also ignore the value of facing or experiencing your pain. Reality is that if our spirituality and craft do not include psychology and observation, they are just emotional bypassing. Real spirituality is a quest for truth in all its forms. It is finding time and space to sit with the emotional story of our current experience. I have always had an immense fascination for details. This makes a personality like mine totally unable to adopt spiritual bypassing as I love to go and lit with Lil Matches all the details of myself, of my inner and outer landscape. This is also a physical habit. 
I love to see details and spend time with them, bringing light to the ones I cannot see. As I notice that throughout all my life, my eyes always tend to focus not much on the majesty and perfection of a pine tree, but on the cracks and wounds producing sad and the observation of those wounds, what might have caused them and how the tree is actually fixing them by exhibiting them with pride and equanimity. In doing so, telling its honest story. A story of an animal attack to the tree, poor soil, a cold or dry season. That wounded tree is not pretending the pain doesn't exist or that it is not faced by its presence. That wounded tree by bleeding is allowing itself to crack wide open, crumble, fall onto its knees and come face to face with the foundation of its existence so it can begin to truly rebuild itself maybe stronger the sap the bleeding of the tree is a the most spectacular manifestation of nurturing and cultivation of courage and resilience. By bleeding, that tree is being proud of its story, his entire story. There is no spiritual bypassing in nature. Just look outside the window. Nature is the most authentic storyteller we should be too. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Thanks for spending some of your time here with me today. It's been truly appreciated and I'll see you all in my next video. Taks mycket, hej då!